Hello there. I'd like to introduce myself here at Countryside Kennel. I'm Ron Chinoweth. Over here on my left, uh, Irene Pickeron. Uh, it's been the last 27 years she's been with us. My wife doing a video, Denise. We're going to be talking about five different categories, how much white they may have or may not. Body color, we go one, two, and three. We do say there's white, one, two, and three. We may have something even, not even, uh, don't even deserve a one. Then I'd go ahead and do like 0.5 or something like that. Then we got body color, same thing, one to three. Size, one to three. Tail, one to th you know, three, same thing. The only thing different is the energy level. And that's what you need to pay attention to. Uh, the energy level, if you're, you know, we like to have right in a six, eight range, and both of these puppies are in that range. This dog here is chip number in orange color, chip number 9790. It is a female. We went ahead and then there is a little bit of white on the chip. First of all, yeah, a little bit of white. Show them that's how dark it is too, though. Yeah, well, yep. Yep. There's a little white smidge. there, and a little white on the back toes. Clean belly. And teeny bit of white, very teeny. Okay. It's disappearing. Mm-hmm. Pretty color. All right, dark, so the, uh, how, when I got this dog one, two, three, what, how dark it's going to be? I got this dog down to 2.5. Really dark puppy. Uh, size is just a little bit bigger than the other ones. I call it 2.5. Tail is a three. Again, six, seven energy level. This is closer to seven. Do we Beautiful tail. tail. Now this breeding of this dog is by Lady. Lady is out of a dog called Penny. Penny was a younger dog to make a Masters. I'm sure it's been broken probably since then, but many years ago. She was 19 months old. Uh, Lady's mama, I'm sorry, Lady's mama, which is uh, Penny. Now Lady is out of Guy, which Guy is the national champion several times over. <laughs> and we got Ringo. Ringo is the guys. sire of these puppies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sire of these puppies, Ringo right. is. Ringo's the sire of the puppies. These puppies were born on the 12th month, 5th day, 2019. They're nine weeks old, February the 6th, 2020. Mm -hmm. And Ringo is uh, um, goes back to his father's touchdown kid that uh, goes right into a perfect line breeding with Guy. So you got uh, double Guy in this uh, bloodline. Very if nice. you could have triple, quadruple, that'd be best. <laughs> but anyway, again, now we're talking about purple. Chip number 9242. Again, this is Lady and Wrinkle Cross. All right, let's see what we got here. Set them up. Set her up. There you go. So you see these ugly tails we put on these dogs? <laughs> All right, this dog got a little bit of white. The other one had a little bit of white on the toes, right? I mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, this okay. one has no white. This one's got no white except uh, on the toes. A little bit on the toes, that's A little it. bit on the toes. It's a little bit darker than the uh, the first color, the orange color dog. You can see how much darker, it looks a little see darker on the sides side. and stuff mm -hmm. and all. So I got it a three in body color. I got a two in size, it's a smaller between the two females. They both got the three tails. This one's a six, seven energy level. I got this closer to six. The difference mm -hmm. two. I think the orange is a little bit more bolder, uh, you know, as far as just a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, outgoing. Brave. I mean, it's going to make mm -hmm. lovely little pets and all, but if I, you know, it depends if you want to hunt a dog, you want to, you know, I like something really brave when I hunt. And as far as we got and a bunch I like of kids. Buns. <laughs> and you like cuddle And you like cuddle buns. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anyway, now we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about Guy. Uh, Guy is uh, Ringo's dad. I'm sorry, Guy's Brother, half brother. brother. Half brother. Mm -hmm. Guy. Okay, Guy is a two times national champion, two times national field champion, a national amateur field champion, a ten times one hour championship winner, three times runner up champion, um, uh, amateur field champion DC CK touchdown guy. Now, Guy is this been featured this month in the uh, Perina magazine and the Circle of Champions, they call it. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about all he's accomplished last year, which was basically put it on all the other dogs, the white dogs, the, the German short hairs, and, and uh, English pointers, and had a pretty good run. You know, mm -hmm. a red dog compete with them, uh, he done a nice job. And the mm -hmm. article talks about his oh. running with that. Okay, a little bit, and he got Ringo again, is half brother to the guy. They got the same father. Mm -hmm. So we do some blank. Touchdown, kid. All right, let's That's go right. ahead and we're going to be talking about the males. We're going to be talking about the well, Irene. We, I'll show you a little bit. I'm sorry about these females. Mm -hmm. She's going to play with them a little bit, kind of show you. And we've never done this before with them. I don't think you have, have you, right? I have no, not playing with toys. Uh -uh. So just kind of play with a little bit. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. There they go. 
And what this shows is the dog's, the puppy's aptitude for wanting to participate in play with the human. Um, and that gives you a really good sign of trainability also with them. You know, who wants to, you know, dive in, who wants to do whatever Irene wants, he's comfortable with people. Our dogs are not raised in boxes, and uh, so they get plenty of socialization with other dogs, and I've got a staff of five plus grandkids, and they all get plenty of people socialization too, and that is all really super important. We had to have a seat, Irene, and... Hey, don't step yeah. up, puppy. Take the picture down. Maybe we got we got a little bit of time. You want to call them? Puppy, puppy, puppy. Give me girls. Give me. And then what do they want to do? They want to do the Velcro yes, thing. Son, both of them. Baby. Both real lovable. Do the uh, upside down thing. That okay. kind of gives you a little bit of their attitude. Um, this is uh, putting a dog in this a vulnerable up. position. And when they lay there like that and practically fall asleep, that means, oh, well, I don't care. I'm relaxed. I'm easy going. No trouble. So that tells you that was a little uh, purple collar. Little purple. She'll do the little orange collar. You can only do this at this time of age because once they get a little bigger, none of them tolerate it. And here's the orange. Remember, we gave a little higher energy to her. So she's going to hold here pretty good. And... Is she going to get tired? No, she's going to go sleep too. So she's <laughs> real good too. But that shows you how they will submit to you. And in your training program, they'll be really super awesome and easy to work with in a, a training situation. But that gives you a little idea. Watch the video. Tell me what you think. Take care. Have a good day.